Donald Trump left us the worst unemployment since the Great Depression. Uh, she doesn't have a plan. She copied Biden's plan, and it's like four sentences, like run, spot, run. There's a lot of back and forth. Last night's presidential debate, it was really a pivotal moment in the 2024 presidential campaign for both Vice President Kamala Harris and pres former President Donald Trump. Yeah, political science professor Sean Foreman live with us this morning to discuss last night's debate and what it now means for both candidates' campaigns. Sean, good to see you, buddy. Thank you for being with us. So they touched on a lot of hot button issues here. Personal attacks were at the forefront. What do you think voters took away from this or viewers? Well, good morning, Keith and Betty. Uh, I think that this was a very uh, telling debate for the American people to see just who these two people are running to be our next president. And I think Kamala Harris nailed it. She was very confident and highly competent in presenting her case and prosecuting Donald Trump. Uh, I think uh, she was good in the greatest hits of, of complaints against Donald Trump about his uh, criminal charges, about his bankruptcies, about his treatment of women, and about race relations, about January 6th, but without coming across as grievances or angry. Whereas Donald Trump uh, repeated points, didn't answer questions, uh, apparently lied quite a bit. The fact checkers are still working on that. And he wants to tell us what Kamala Harris thinks, um, saying that she would ban guns and that she hates Israel. So she had to check in there. So I think it was pretty clear um, the demeanor of these folks, and I think Kamala Harris did what she needed to do to show that she has the temperament to be president. Sean, you know, this last debate started conversations for President Biden to draw out, but this debate, did it reach enough into the issues of the economy, reproductive rights, border security, to really convince voters who frankly say, I don't like either one of them? Yeah, I think it's always the, the mix uh, between, you know, the personalities and the attacks versus the policies. Uh, a lot of us want to hear more on policy, but but honestly, a lot of voters don't want to get into those details. And Kamala Harris started her first answer with uh, her tax plan, talking about some specifics on taxes, and then she came back to that at the end. Uh, but other than that, we didn't hear too many specifics on what they would do on the economy. I think on abortion policy, uh, that's where Kamala Harris really had some shiny moments in her sober uh, discussion of of you know what it means that policy changes in this country and donald trump i don't think um handled his responses very well there so you know if those are the issues that matter to people they then they got a clear contrast immigration is another one mm -hmm. inflation where donald trump you know really tried to make a some more points so um you know on the policy we're, we're not going to get their details you got to read their plans online but i think they give us broad strokes to tell us you know what they believe and what direction they would lead the country if they're elected. That's true. All right. Sean, thanks for being with us this morning. We always appreciate your perspective. And I think Thank you're you right. Much. I think you're right what they're talking about. A lot of people are undecided yeah. and there are people, voters out there, and I think Sean would agree with this, that there are voters that just don't want to say who they're supporting. That's, that's true. Right. right. All right. Sean, we'll say, thank I you. I don't like either one of them, but Thank you, you. got to pick one, right? Okay. Thank you, Sean.